All right, we're back with the generator, and we're going to do our uh, oil change uh, soon. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll just give you a quick look. I wrapped everything up with these nice split ties, all the work for the text messaging system. I covered over all the rest of the wires with the wire ties here, not all of the, I don't think this one, uh, this one there was covered. But I covered everything just to protect it. I covered this, uh, the gas line coming in. And I wrapped uh, grounding wire around it just to hold it down. Everything's working great. I covered this with some, also had some extra, the gas line going in. So everything's covered. That's the fuse from the text messaging system. Everything's covered. So what I decided to do is um, I had read that the, um, the heater block, uh, it, it shorts out every couple of years. And that's, that runs off, there are two hots, it's 240 off the fuses here. And it's grounded. Da, 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 da. over there that little green wire so I'm gonna these are 10 amp fuses um, they're quick blow fuses so I got I'm gonna mount a separate fuse block over here outside so I can see it generally you, you put it inside where it's protected but in any event I want to be able to see it so I got these seven and a half amp fuses we're gonna run through it um, and uh, here's the fuse box that I got the fuse block Anything else? Let me just see. Alright, so that's the information. And uh, I'm mounting that now. I'm going to take off the... Uh, the power cables that I put on for the heater block and just run it through uh, the fuse block. This way, if it blows, it'll blow this out and it won't blow out those fuses. Because if it blows out these fuses, what's going to happen is the generator is going to think there's no electricity in the house and it's going to start. So sometimes you, people uh, write that their, uh, the heater block burnt down and took out the, the fuses and then the generator turned on at night. I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to have it blow out these fuses first. I think the seven and a half, half amp fuses should blow up before the 10 amp ones do, hopefully. And I'll be able to see it easily out here. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Um, I took the black wires from the uh, heater block. I ran it out here. Uh, let me see if you can see it. And I ran it into the bottom of the uh, fuse block. I then am going to have uh, two hot wires coming in. Actually, feeding this fuse block. I didn't connect them yet. Um, I'm first going to put in the fuses. So we got the fuses here. Let me get a better view of it. There's seven and a half amp. Alright, let's take them out. Let's find a place to put the camera. Hmm. Right, well, I'll hold it. Let's see. All right, so these fuses are just a little different. They're just these these glass ones. So there's no power here, so we're gonna just push them in by hand. It's one, and that's two. All hmm. This one got a little dented. Let's see. Okay. All right, so from here we can see it. We can see whether the fuse blow. And uh, this is the power that's going to come in. Uh, okay, so now we're going to have to connect these two hot wires to those fuses. And again, the purpose is 
basically to protect those fuses from the heater block bur um, when it shorts out, which it does, from what I understand, every couple of years. So, it is hot, so you want to be careful. So, I'm going to run the wires. Let's run them back here. Hold on. And this we can just push on. And the other one, we'll just push on. Okay, so now this is hot. And if you can see, it's easy to see whether that's blown. Okay, so uh, let me just make it look a little nicer, but uh, I just wrapped it up in electrical tape. So uh, the power now comes in, 240 volts, 120, 120, goes down here, the, it comes out. I'm sorry, here this goes to the um, block heater from the bottom. There are fuses, we could easily see. Those will burn out if there's a short. And uh, pretty much that's it. I put the cover back on, I just have to tighten it up. I got my nice Harbor Freight um, socketing for the... Uh, so with the Harbor Freight uh, socketing for the power drill, we'll just uh, connect it. Easy as one, two, three. And that's it for now.